Joining us live now with some perspective on all of this is Dr. George Rutherford. He is an epidemiologist at UCSF. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. So what have the clinical trials for kids ages 5 to 11 years old shown as far as efficacy and side effects? So they, they, this was uh, this trial used antibodies as the endpoint rather than disease to use disease as the endpoint. You need you would need tens of thousands of kids in a lot more time. So based on um, data that were available from another trial, uh, they were able to compare antibody levels in in children in five to eleven to uh, sixteen to twenty five year old adults, and the antibody levels were exactly the same. So that's all good news. Uh, the side effects, uh, so they only had somewhere between 2,000 and 2,500 patients, um, and the side effect profile was similar to uh, to adults. Um, 2,500 patients isn't nearly enough to see, you know, kind of very rare side effects, uh, but we would not expect to see anything sort of any different than what, we, what we've seen in adults and, and adolescents. So what's being done to help alleviate parents' concerns about potential side effects and the long-term impact of all of this? Well, it's this it's this usual vaccine um, uh, mm -hmm. communication that goes on. Um, I think that CDC may be having some specific uh, campaigns for uh, school age, younger school age children and their uh, and their parents. I don't nothing specific in the Bay Area, but I would assume we're, we're going to get there pretty quickly. Uh, right now, it's more people breaking down the doors wanting to get this rather than the other way around. Right. That's usually, that's how it happened when the vaccine actually first came out for, for adults. Yeah. So switching gears, eight of the nine Bay Area counties today announced metrics for lifting the masking mandate. Do you think this right. is the right approach and the right time to start talking about lifting these mandates? I do. I was somewhat concerned that we would be rushing in to do this. But I, I think there's some built in delays here. Uh, and we'll get a feel if we're going to have a big winter surge or not before we would relax the mandates. One of them is that you have to wait eight weeks after, until after FDA uh, grants emergency use authorization for the five to 11 year olds uh, to get the vaccine. Um, you can get past that if you have more than 80% of your entire population vaccinated. But I think really only Marin is the only county within striking distance of that. So I think we're probably going to be looking at masks through the end of the year, at least through the uh, uh, well into the holiday season. Yeah, so keep those masks handy, no doubt. I want to talk to you a little yeah. bit about this idea of mixing these vaccines, mixing and matching. There are some studies being done right now yeah. on the efficacy of all of that. I know it's also been done in Europe. What do you, what's your take on the findings there and whether or not that's going to be the future of these vaccines? I, I doubt that it'll be the future. Uh, in Europe, because they haven't had a lot of AstraZeneca vaccine, a vaccine we don't use, uh, they've given the second dose with Pfizer, and that seems to have worked quite well. They have a pretty robust data that would show it's safe and uh, and very effective. I think the one thing we might mix and match is for people who got Johnson & Johnson vaccine mm -hmm. to start with. Uh, FDA is hearing those uh, is reviewing those data here coming up pretty quickly, and we'll have to see how that uh, how that plays out as well. All right, Dr. Rutherford, thank you so much for joining us.